Okay, this is the uh, part two. Um, in the last sit down, well, in the part one, I said that I was going to name this uh, uh, the the elect of the nation of Israel receive power, but uh, I entitled it a different title. All right, and uh, this will be the part two. So this is Isaiah forty and. Bear with me. I'm going to start at Isaiah 40 and 28. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting power, the Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainted not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youths shall, fall, uh, shall faint and be weary, and the young man shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Yahweh shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. So the Lord is going to give the, the, the true believers, the men, all right, that that wait upon him till he send his son back. All right, they don't take that microchip. All right, um, that get thrown into these concentration camps. All right, um, and and, and they don't budge. He's gonna give them power when the enemy. You know what? Let me get that. Actually, I'm gonna jump to this other. I'm gonna jump to chapter forty-one. Then I'm gonna jump to the other scripture that I was gonna get. In Isaiah, so the Lord is gonna uh, is gonna reward you, man, for being faithful unto Him. You know, not all, meaning, like how I stated in the first um, video, the part one, is that Revelations twenty four has to come into play. You know, a lot of us gonna be cast into uh, these concentration camps and be offered uh, that thing which is offered unto an idol, which is that microchip. All right. And you 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 will you will be beheaded. All right. Actually, let me get that. Bear with me. This is it's Revelations twenty and four. All right. So Revelation twenty and four. It says, "Now saw thrones, and they sat upon them. Who was they? The ones that didn't take the trip, uh, the chip, the microchip." The 144,000, the one third, all right, the ones that consist of the 144,000. And judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai, and for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark, which the word mark is karagma, karax, which is their microchip. That's how they're going to insert it, all right? Upon their heads or in their hands, and they lived it reigned with Mashiach a thousand years. All right, which it would be more than a thousand years because Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, they live forever. So we're going to live forever. It's, it's eternal life. You're going to live forever. But check this out uh, Israel will live forever. Israel shall be saved in the Lord. Actually, he says that right here in Isaiah. The 45th and uh, 15th chapter. Really? Uh, hold on. It says, well, yeah, it says it. I'm a, uh, Well, it's Isaiah 45 and 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. So, that goes to uh, Jeremiah, or not Jeremiah, Salakia, John 3, 16, all right? For God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son. Well, that precept goes to Jeremiah 45 and 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Yahweh with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end, all right? Let's get back to the spiritual power. All right, so Isaiah 41 and 10, fear not, I mean, Salakia, fear thou not, 
Uh, actually, damn, I want to. Actually, let's go to Isaiah 41 8. Let's move up. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. All right. Uh, thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, which that's going to happen. All right. And called thee from the chief man thereof and said unto thee, thou art my servant. I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, meaning be not in shock, you know. For I am thy power. I will strengthen thee, yea. I will help thee, yea. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be, as, shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. So, when, when it... When, <laughs> I'm going to get it, but when this enemy comes in like a flood, that represents them being incensed. You know, when you're surrounded by your enemies, the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai is going to help you. And I got in uh, to a few scriptures about that in the first, um, in the first, in the part one. All right. Uh, they shall be as nothing and they that strive with thee shall perish. All right. Thou shalt seek them and shalt not find them. Even them that contended with thee, fought against thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. For I, the Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, thy power, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, you so called blessed Latinos, Hispanics, native, and similar in the descent. And, and, and um, you brothers that look like other nations that woke up to the fact that you're Israelites. Don't fear. All right. Um, for uh, Salakia, fear not thou worm Jacob and ye man of Israel. I will help thee, said the Yahweh and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee, I will make thee a new sharp threshing, threshing instrument having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains, not literally mountains, is talking about governments, and beat them small and shall make the hills as chaff. You know, when something burns, you know, uh, uh, you know, when something is, is burning, you know, you like you uh, you scrape your arm against the ground. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be like chaff. They're going to be like dust. All right. Thou shalt fan them. And the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them. All right, and thou shalt rejoice in the in the Yahweh and in the Salaki, and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. All right, and also too, the Lord's gonna have His chariots shooting those laser beams of fire. All right, destroying the wicked. All right, so let's go. The enemy shall come in like a flood. All right, bear with me. Got to find out. I thought I had it marked. Uh, just bear with me. Okay, so this is Isaiah 59. We're going to start at verse 18. According to their deeds, accordingly, he will repay. Fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies. All right. His enemies are the other nations, you Edomites, which is so-called white people, all right? You Moabites, which are the Chinese, the Ammonites, which are the Japanese, the Hamites, all right? Um, and you other nations, all right? But remember, Israel is scattered, so you're going to have brothers like these other nations, all right? Uh, to the islands, he will repay recompense. So shall they fear the name of the Yahweh from the west, we're in the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun, which is the east, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. So the Lord's going to lift up a defense or a way for you to flee. All right. And that word for a standard is H5127. And uh, I, I didn't even write it down. I just wrote down the... Uh, the uh damn what's it called the uh the, you know when we go into words 
yeah, so it's H5127, all right? So Isaiah 59 and 20, and the Redeemer shall come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, said the Yahweh. As for me, this is my covenant with them, said the Yahweh, my spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed. So your children is going to be taken care of, and he's going to have his knowledge too. Nor out of the mouth of thy seeds, seed, said the Yahweh from hence and forever. All right. Let's keep going. This is Ezekiel 25 and 12. Thus said the Yahweh power, because that Edom, you so-called white people, had dealt against the house of Judah, which are the Negroes. You have um, the tribe of Benjamin, which are the Jamaicans. And the Levites, which are the Haitians, which is my tribe, all right. Um, they 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 call us the Jews, all right. The Southern Kingdom, all right. The House of Judah, by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus said the Lord, Power, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom. So you Edomites are about to be judged, and will cut off men and beasts from it. And I will make it desolate from Teman, and they of the Dan shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native, uh, uh, Native American, and similarly descent. All right. By the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do an Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. They shall know my vengeance, said the Lord. All right. Okay. Let's go to John uh, 10. And 34. How will I answer them? Is it not, Salaki, so like, is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. So, the Israelites and he was talking to the unbelieving Israelites all right but to the believers all right we believe this all right though we die like men all right because we, we go off you know and ultimately uh Adam he went off all right now let's go to Romans 3 and 3 for what if some did not believe shall their unbelief make the faith of the most high without effect all right uh, for the most, for Salakia, God forbid, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written. All right. So just because you you don't believe that this is this won't happen, it will happen. All right. And the elect have obtained it. Where is that scripture at? Let's see. I think I got that more too. Bear with me. Bear with me. Where is it at? I just had it. But where is it at? Where is it at? Let's see. Joint heirs. That's a good one. Oh, damn, I thought I had it. Just bear with me. Salakia. All right. All right, it says... Well, let's 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 go to Romans eight, Romans eight and fourteen. It says, "For as many are as led by the Spirit of the Most High, they are the sons of the Most High. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father." All right, the Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. That we are the children of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And if children, then heirs, and heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Hamashiach. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. All right. Let's go down. I can't believe I can't uh can't find it. I probably looked over it. But anyway, let's keep going. All right, so let's go down to verse. All 
Oh, that's good. That's good, too. Let's go down to verse 23. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the spirit. All right. We are the first fruits. Yahweh Shai is, is the ultimate first fruit. He was the first spirit that the Heavenly Father made. Yahweh Shai made everything else. All right. He made the other spirits. The other spirits he had made afterward were the angels and the and his elect. All right. The 144,000, the believers. Uh, even, even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to it, the redemption of our body. For we are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why do he hope? Uh, Slaki, why do he yet hope for? But if we hope for that which we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. All right. Um, let's go down to verse. And that's good, too. Yeah, let's keep going. Likewise, the spirit also helped with our infirmities, you know, your sicknesses and so forth. You know, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the spirit itself make an intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered and he that searcheth the hearts the minds know it what is the mind of the spirit because he make an intercession for the saints according to the will of the most high so yahweh makes intercession all right he's our mediator all right uh and we know that all things were together for a good to them that love the most high and the Lord the Most High is to keep his commandments, all right? To them who are who are called according to his purpose. So this is a calling, all right? You just, you know, you just didn't wake up on your own. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. You know, I believe this, I believe that. You know, I'm out here teaching. No, man, you were called and, and, and it's going to go into predestination. For whom he did for no. Let's read that again. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. All right. Romans 8 and 30. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, then he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. All right. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. All right. What shall we then say to to these things? If the most high be for us, who can be against us? All right. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? All right. Who shall lay anything to the charge of the most high's elect? It is the most high that justifies, all right? So there you have it. Now let's go to Romans 9. Because I said something about, you know, uh, you know, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics. You know, we see our people, you know, yeah, they they they're Israel, but they're not Israel. They're like unto heathen, all right? They don't care about Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right, so Romans 9 and 9. Uh Salaki, like Romans 9 and 6. Not as though the word of the Most High have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which are Israel, see? So, uh, I mean, yeah, you know. And then look, it says, neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. So Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, not Abraham, Isaac, and Esau, not Abraham, uh, Ishmael, Isaac, no. All right. Uh, let's go to Romans 9 and 27. Isaiah also cried concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. All right. We're almost done with this. Bear with me. Now, let's go. Now, this is the ultimate spiritual power. Um scripture along with another scripture in revelation i might get it all right so this is first corinthians 15 
and 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, which means die, all right? But we shall all be changed. What does that mean, all right? Out of these bodies, these fleshly bodies, all right? We're going to have spiritual bodies. Let's keep reading. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass. It's going to happen. The saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. So you know what? If Esau, Edom, these other nations put you to death for righteousness sake, for Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai's sake, it is a victory. All right? Yahweh Shai made that possible. When he when he was uh, uh, led up on that cross, when he gave up the ghost, all right, he overcame death. It was a victory. All right? He overcame slavery because he was born under the time of, the, uh, of uh, slavery, under the Romans. He overcame death. And slavery. So guess what? If we're joint heirs with him and you fall for the Lord, that's righteousness. That's that's a victory. Don't you know that your story will, will be told in the kingdom of heaven about you, about what you did on this side? That's what's coming for the 144,000, man. And the one third, mainly the 144,000. But, you know, shoot. Um, oh, death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. All right? But thanks be to the Most High, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, which giveth us the victory through our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Call Halayim La, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right? Call Halayim means all praises. All right? Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, Always about in the work of the Lord, meaning you, you, you study, you know, you do your sit downs, you go out on the highways and byways and preach, you know, fast, you know, you, uh, you keep the law, statutes and commandments to the best of your ability, you know, you keep the high holy days to the best of your ability, you know, like for instance, tomorrow night goes into, uh, the day of atonement. It's going to be brothers that got to work, but guess what? On the Day of Atonement, you don't eat nor drink. So while those brothers are at work, they won't be eating or drinking uh, uh, until uh, Friday evening, you know, when it's a new day coming, when when the uh, Day of Atonement is over with, all right? He looks at stuff like that, all right? Uh, for, as, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord, you know, so I'm, I'm going to stop right there, all right? Say, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem. Yahawashah, Bahashem, Kakudash. I do hope that this is uh, edifying, edifying, <laughs> edifying, and this is only for the elect, man. You know, and you women out there that believe in the truth, you know, y'all be saved too, even if you don't have a man around. So anybody that's teaching y'all that bullshit, and excuse my language, but I'm just real like that. You know, don't believe in that, all right? So, Shalom.